is up, everybody? This is Father Christian, and uh, this weekend is going to be an action-packed weekend. So let's get to the top three things right now. All right, everybody. So check it out. So we got a big weekend coming up. So I don't know if you know this, but this weekend here at St. Mary's, let's tell you, I'm looking at our news and events. That's all I'm doing right now. So you can follow along with me. Uh, the number one thing you got to know is that we have our new members gathering. So if you're new or newish, you know anyone who's new or newish, or if you just want to hang out and talk and have some coffee and some donuts, donuts. When's the last time we had coffee and donuts together? It's been a while. Uh, so you can go to Smith Hall, but let Mark Iyer know. That's M-B-H-I-E-R-1 at gmail.com. It's in your news and events. So let them know that you're a new member-ish person and want to hang out uh, and save me a donut. Uh, the number two thing is that uh, Reverend Patsy started a, a prayer soaking room over at the Healing Center. Uh, so you remember the Healing Center? It's right next to Ross Hall um, or Pittenger Center. And you want to go in there uh, between 10, 15, 11, 30 because you can see where you one can go to just get soaked in prayer and to have a beautiful place that is just a, a quiet, more intimate setting than maybe the sanctuary uh, to go and pray and to be soaked in prayer. Uh, the third and final thing is this weekend is the big Juneteenth celebration in Martin County or in Stewart also for Father's Day. So there's a two thing going on here. Uh, there is, uh, if you were at CFW, you heard from Mr. Drew, who is the head of a, uh, of a father's uh, program to help fathers in Martin County. So there's Father's Fest. This is one of his first big things to get a, um, everyone together to celebrate fathers and also lift up fathers, especially fathers who are needing some, some support, some strength from if life has just been kind of a, a challenge. Um, so we will have a booth between 10 and 12 over at Guy Davis Park. That's next to 10th Street Community Center. Uh, and then also then is Juneteenth. Juneteenth, as we know, is the our annual celebration of emancipation. So it's on June 19th. Um, so that's going to be a big deal. So I don't know if, if you remember, there was the Florida emancipation celebration we had here in East Stewart, and it was extremely well attended, like 100 people. So this Juneteenth one is probably going to be even bigger. So all the reason why the church needs to have a table there to be there in the midst of it. We are a missional church. We're constantly going out of our comfort zone into uh, the public square to reflect the love of Jesus Christ. Um, so I need you. I need you to sign up and to be one of the people who will be at our booth, who will represent St. Mary's, to give out wristbands, to give out uh, hugs if you're comfortable with that, or space hugs, or air high five, or just the love of Jesus. Wristbands and sunblock. We're going to be doing a lot of things. Water. We, just, we want to be there and be the love of Jesus. So let me know. Email me, christian at stmarys-steward.org, because we need slots from 10 to 12 and 1 to 5 to be the bright, smiling, shining faces of St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Stewart, Florida. Because we grow into Jesus and we reach out in love. I know many of you would like to reach through the screen and cut my hair, but it's going to be sticking around for a little longer, I think. Okay. Uh, love you lots. Those are your top three things you need to know. I'll see you guys this weekend at church. That was supposed to hit the camera.